On October 15, 2016 in Baltimore on the U.S. East Coast, the U.S. Navy commissioned the guided missile destroyer USS Zoom Vault into service following a costly development. 600 feet long and displacing 14,500 tons, Zoom Vault, the first of three stealthy land attack destroyers, is America's largest surface combatant in generations. But she is not alone in her weight class. While the Americans were celebrating Zoom Vault's entry into service, on the other side of the world at a shipyard in Shanghai, the Chinese Navy was hard at work on its own 14,000 ton displacement surface warship. The Type 055 has just showcased by PLA Navy a couple of days ago. It is most powerful surface warship in Asia. It is unclear exactly what the Type 055 will do, but indications are that she will function as the main air defense escort for China's new domestically built aircraft carrier, currently under sea trials. Consider the Type 055 superstructure facets, apparently meant to support radar emitters similar to the SPY-1 emitters that are part of the US Navy's Aegis Air Defense System. US Navy flat tops never go anywhere without at least one Aegis-equipped cruiser and several Aegis destroyers as escorts. Zoom Vault, notably, is the first new major American surface combatant class in 30 years not to have Aegis. The Type 055 likely won't be a direct competitor of Zoom Vault. Rather than integrating Zoom Vault and her two sisters into carrier battle groups, the US Navy will probably deploy the giant destroyers on solo cruises near land in order to take advantage of the vessel's radar evading hull form and their twin, 155mm guns, which can fire projectiles a distance of at least 80 miles in order to support amphibious landings and special operations. The apparent differences between the Type 055 and the Zoom Vault class are stark. The Type 055 boasts a fairly traditional hull form and superstructure, with only modest attempts to reduce radar signature by way of an enclosed forward deck. By contrast, Zoom Wallet is stealthy from the keel up, with a distinctive downward sloping tumble home hull and fully enclosed sensors and gun turrets. Arguably, Zoom Vault and her sisters have greater need of stealth, as they could sail alone and close to enemy shores. Assuming the Type 055 is indeed primarily an air defense ship, she could travel in close company with a carrier, other escort vessels and even logistics ships, none of which are particularly stealthy. Building stealth into the Type 055 would represent an inefficient use of resources assuming China's naval architects are even capable of designing a ship as stealthy as Zoom Vault is. The Type 055 reportedly boasts 128 vertical launch cells for anti-air missiles and other munitions, six cells more than the US Navy's own most heavily armed surface warships, the venerable Ticonderoga-class cruisers. Zoom Vault carries just 80 cells. In many ways, the Type 055 is evolutionary rather than revolutionary. Largely conventional in form and function, the Type 055 major innovation is, simply put, her size. Zoom Vault, on the other hand, pushes the boundaries of warship design and could potentially open up new operational concepts. Not since the age of the battleship have navies deployed large warships close to enemy shores for the purposes of bombarding targets on land. Radars and guided missiles made the mission too dangerous for today's flimsy, easy-to-detect surface combatants. The Type 055 will probably do for China what the Aegis cruisers and destroyers are doing for the United States. That is, protecting the carriers. Zoom Vault, however, could make near-shore fire support possible again a feed the Type 055 surely can't duplicate. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and to press bell icon.